If you once quit, it becomes a habit. Never quit. Hello visitors, so this is Jaya from your YouTube channel. So hope you all are doing great in your life and having a good health. So in this Omicron days. So uh, firstly, I welcome you all in today's video or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the main objective of today's video is about lecture number four that is data types and slicing of strings. So let's switch to the um, presentation for better understanding. So let me have maximize this screen. Okay. So at the end of the video or at the end of the theory part, I'll give you the practical view about like what we have understand in theory part. And uh, I'll give you or deliver you some astounding tips and tricks about this topic so please stay tuned with this video hope you will like the content that i am continuously delivering you all and so let's get started without having further delay so today we have lesson number four that is data types and slicing of strings this topic is plays a very crucial role in python programming language so for any coding you have to understand what the data types is actually so this is the topic uh, which everyone from the uh, technical ground technical background they should know about this okay so what basically uh, data types is so most of the people are using int float string tuple number dictionary and many other data types but they don't know what does it actually means uh, okay so here I mentioned some uh, points uh, for better understanding that is data type represent the type of data present inside a variable. In Python, we are not required to specify the type explicitly. So uh, because uh, Python is a dynamically typed language, that is why we don't have to uh, mention the type of the data type. Okay. So coming to the next slide that is different types of data types are as follows. So I have mentioned some uh, data types in the points wise so that you can uh, grasp uh, it in a very easy manner. So first one is int, second float, third complex, boolean, string, byte, byte array, range, list, tuple, set, frozen set, dictionary. So these are the some dictionaries. These are the some data types in Python. So coming to the next that is uh, all of the data types we will be discussing in the next or upcoming video that I will be posting on some uh, like in this week only. But today we are going to understand the slicing operation for the string in Python. That is why I have chosen the topic data type string type. Okay string data type basically so string represent the string data type like str if i am mentioning mentioning the str it means it represent the string data type okay so a string is a sequence of characters enclosed within single quotes or double quotes like for example s1 and equals to inverted commas jaya so this is the string which uh, basically means why it is called string because I have mentioned the Jaya name in, in an inverted comma. Okay. And the second one is double inverted commas. Okay. So this is the example of string. Hope you all are getting the, uh, the correct way to uh, like learn. Okay. So coming to the second topic that is slicing of strings i'll make you understand in my best way so that uh, uh, we can have a great understanding okay so slicing of string first point is slice what does it basically means slice slice means a piece like uh, if i bring a bread of packet of bread so the bread is uh, slices into 
many pieces okay so these are known as slice okay so uh, this uh, bracket square bracket operator is called slice operator okay for slicing operation for slicing of a string we used to uh, sub, we supposed to use this square bracket operator for slicing of a string okay okay so coming to the third point that is in python strings follows zero based index okay like for example like this is an str1 this is this is the string face face f a c e okay so f is at the zero place because the index number is always started with the zero index okay so the index can either be positive or negative it can either be positive or negative okay positive index means forward direction from left to right and negative direction means backward direction that is right to left so all I, I hope you all are getting my point what i'm trying to understand you in a better way so uh, most of the uh, like examples coming with a hello world so this is the uh, like example you can see here hello world so h is on the zero index okay because every index is starting with the zero index coming to the basic slicing operation with this you will able to uh, like do slicing operation for example like i have mentioned my name jaya and i take the s from my shukla title so jaya's is the name okay this is the string basically so i have uh, mentioned the string as jaya's in the double inverted commas okay so uh, this is the um, like i have covered this name in a rectangular bo box for better understanding like j is on minus 5 index and a is on minus 4 index and y is on minus 3 index and a is on minus 2 index and s is on minus 1 index this is from and 0 1 2 3 is the left to right okay this is the positive so coming to this like um, str minus 5 bracket so this represent the minus 5 index number of this string minus 5 so what comes on the minus 5 index that is j so it prints the j okay of this string and coming to the minus 4 it it present or it reflects a small a of that string so this is the and uh, this is the note point which you all have to focus here like string 40 40 is the index number but we have only this uh, particular range is minus 4 or 4 this is the range for negative or positive we don't have 40 range so this throw an error which which is called index error so this string index out of range it will throw out the error like string index of out of range so you must all this know okay so slicing operation on string equals to double inverted comma jayas so hope you all are getting the point like str1 colon 40 so 40 is out of range so after uh, like 1 is included and 1 like 1 this is 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 is left and from 1 it reflects the a y a s okay and 1 colon so what does it mean 1 after the 1 after the 0 it will represent all the character like a y a s now string colon 4 what it will represent like 0 1 0 1 2 3 3 4 so it will represent the three characters okay 0 1 2 3 so hope you and this is the most important part that is like if i am multiplying the string with any number then it will uh, multiply that okay it will come the 
three times and if i want to uh, like uh, know the length of the string then i will print the len function and it will throw out an output like five so this is all for today but but before finishing this video i'll give you some operations on slicing uh, like on jupyter notebook so let's get a uh, switch to the jupyter notebook for better understanding so here is the new jupyter book notebook which you can access offline uh, and online too so like uh, first i'll tell you the type how can uh, this uh, data this python is a dynamically called uh, typed language dynamically typed language okay so here is this like um, if i take an example s1 equals to jaya and i will create like type of this string or variable then it will call s1 okay so it will throw the output like it is a string data type by recognizing the double inverted comma that i have placed okay so coming to the next that is like if i am str jaya okay so like if i want to print str okay okay then i'll run it it will print jaya okay so coming to the next that is print str square brackets colon it will throw the whole string okay this so these are the example which i am going to make you understand for uh, this string operations okay now coming to the next operation that is string str square bracket i will call like four and colon okay so this is all okay print str square bracket zero run so it will throw like zero index of that like j is on zero a is on one y is on two and a is on four so it will throw an output like this print str colon two colon three let's see what happens it throw two like what is the place of two here okay zero one two it will throw y okay great so like if you want to uh, add some inverted comma on the string inside the inverted comma you want to put some other inverted comma like how how would you do this okay so i'll give you an example for that like um, uh like we can say where is the variable name and i want to put like taj mahal okay taj mahal and inside this i have to put single inverted comma so that it can come under the double inverted comma okay yeah then only it will come up is in agra okay now i have to run this program run this line i don't know why it is not working okay 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 let me start print where okay maybe it will work yeah so taj mahal come into the single inverted comma so our task is done for today and we have done the slicing operation we have done the data types also by doing type function because python is an is an explicitly 
data dynamic typed language okay so guys thank you for watching this video and if you have not subscribed that channel or so please subscribe for more videos and for tremendous notifications so a big thanks to all who are watching this video